Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Crisp Purpose back at it again with another Tens of War new weapon video for you guys. So the Ruby Macaque is a new weapon that is available right now in the Soul Forge. So if you haven't gone there as of yet, hightail it to the Soul Forge and go and craft this weapon right here. This is a weapon that is available um, as a result of the campaign. So Three weapons came in in this campaign, and you're going to need those three weapons so as to craft this new mythic weapon. All right, so we're going to be taking a look at about four teams uh, covering three of those teams, though, are going to be goal farming teams. One is going to be an Explore 12 team. That's pretty cool, and um, that makes full use of this weapon's spell and the weapon upgrades. As talking of the weapon upgrades, look at these weapon upgrades here. It has Lucky. Um, it has Prosperous, which is very notable. It has Treasured, which no one cares about. Um, it has Lightning, and of course, that's Vampiric for the final upgrade right there. It is stealing three life from the first enemy. So let's take a look at these teams with this new weapon right here. For some reason, the devs just decided to slide this weapon into the Soul Forge stealthily. You know what I mean? Just like you're sliding into the DMs. Just ease your way in there. Um, but yeah, it is available. So make sure you get this. All right, so the first team that we're looking at here is a team containing the Empress. The Empress has a great spell. Draw the Empress. It will give 59 to all skills on the last enemy, and, if, and it has a 7% chance of an extra turn for each green gem on the board. Um, it also has good terror for its final trait. String Fiddler is, go is going to be here as well uh, for his spell, uh, Eardrum uh, Burster, in which he will silence an enemy and explode 15 gems of one of their uh, mana colors. And along with that, because he's a goblin, he will gain an extra turn. I'm also using him for his final trait, which is Song of Nature, summoning a leaf storm at the start of battle. Leprechaun is going to be on the team as well for a fast start. And along with that, he's going to be giving gold. So that's pretty cool. Um, and as you can see, the Ruby Macaque is going to be at the back of the team right here, dealing the true damage, getting that buff from the Empress. The class I'm using here is the Geomancer class. Why? Because this is the Construct Hero class. The Empress is a Construct troop, so she will be gaining a 50% start from the uh, Geomancer Hero class here. Um, and other notable things on this class as well, I have set here Serendipity, uh, Mage Lord, which is a uh, it's giving two magic, right? I'm getting two magic as a result of being in the last position. Um, mentor and Tactician are also other notable traits and uh, the tree of knowledge which is i'm becoming enchanted whenever i match green gems as you can see string fiddlers on the team um, i have a, a leaf storm so i'm going to be matching a lot of green gems so the weapon is going to become enchanted right off the jump and i think finally here i have uh mystic channel i don't think i need this now let me let me let me change that let's get back to fortitude here yeah that makes more sense Right, so that is the first team. This is an Explore 12 team, and I think I'm going to be, yeah, right here in Zajin. Hopefully this works out very well for me here. And I'm using all my magic metals because I want to gain as much from this as possible. Let's go. Battle number one. No, battle number two in Zajin. Let's see how it works out. Right, so you want to go ahead and cast your Leprechaun first off. And now you want to get your String Fiddler powered up. And once you get String Fiddler powered up, you can you can start putting in the work on these enemies. Okay, stop matching gems, you nasty ass goblin. There we go. We got this powered up. Hit them right here. As you can see, the weapon is generating for itself, which is so cool. All right, let's silence that sucker at top. The weapon's back up. Cast again. And that's it. That's it. This is this is this is. This is, I like this direction for the devs. Whenever the devs go down this direction, new weapons, new troops, anything that's good and powerful and, you know, gets your blood pumping, that's what you want to see in the game. Sometimes they put in some things in the game and you're like, man, did y'all even think about this? Like, who needs this? But this one right here, yeah, I'm taking this one, baby. I'm taking this one for sure. All right, let's match this down. We're going to go ahead and cast the Empress. Now, Fiddler on whoever you want to pick. And you can cast the Empress again, and then and then you kill you kill him. <laughs> then you kill him. You know what I mean? It's a super easy option. It's great because String Fiddler is on the on the team. String Fiddler allows you to control the board, gain mana, and do not lose your turn. So this is a very powerful option. If you guys want to go ahead and try it out, I'm gonna drop the team code in the description. So make sure you check that out, and um and let me know what you thought your your, uh, your thoughts are. All right, so let's move on to our first gold farming option right here, which is the Mac Gold 1, right? This team is one of the few teams I've ever used 
with with times to Cedric, um, especially for a player control team. If I if it's the AI, you know, doing autoplay, I've I've used many of those teams. But this is a player controlled um, uh, goal farming team, and undoubtedly this rivals the Diamantina team in gold per hour. Let me repeat that again. This team right here rivals the Diamantina team in the amount of gold you're able to gain per hour. Why? Because you have two Cedrics. So let me hop into a fight here and go into, let me go, let's go to a kingdom where I don't want to have any problems. All right, let's go Leonis Empire. All right? And as you can see, the room Kaki is going to be here. And the reason why I say this rivals a Diamantina team, so for example, the Diamantina team has Cedric, it has Greed, and it has uh, the Bronze Lock Pistol, I have Diamantina, right? So Cedric is giving the maximum amount of bonus for gold. Greed is generating that gold at the start of battle. And then um, Diamantina deals the necessary amount of damage, killing, killing the enemies fast. And along with that, the Bronze Lock Pistol is the generator option on that team. Now, the Ruby Macaque replaces two things on that team. For one, it replaces Diamantina, right? It deals the damage. And along with that as well, it replaces Greed because it generates gold by means of the Booty Gems, right? So as long as I'm casting this weapon and destroying those Booty Gems, I'll gain the same amount of gold, if not more, when using this weapon right here. Um, I Hopefully that was explaining you know exactly how the mechanics work and how you're able to get to it really quickly if not drop in the comment section let me know if i if i didn't explain anything anything properly or if i'm just talking too quickly here all right let's go into the fight here we're in leonis empire battle number three let's see if i can make this a very fast option for you guys all right so the class here i should mention i'm using the thief hero class why for the greedy trait at the top the 50 percent mana start I'm using it also for the Light Fingers and the Storm's Aura, and those are the most notable talents, right? So you want to go ahead, get get your Thrall powered up first. Thrall, you cast this. There, generating mana. You cast Thrall again. As you can see, I'm dealing true damage here, not regular damage. So this is a very potent option. Look at it, right? And look at my meter for gold. 300 gold. Right, the meter is completely maxed out, and there is the win. Um, you might be saying it's not as fast as the Diamantina team. Yes, this requires three casts, but as you can see, if I were to use the Diamantina team, this would be about 5,000 something gold per battle. This is now 7,797 gold per battle. Based on my calculations, if you do about, say, for example, a, a battle lasts 22 seconds right per battle you're looking in an hour at over 1.2 million gold right that's what you're looking at if you're able to get your 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 thrall powered up as fast as possible cast him cast the weapon cast thrall cast the weapon cast thrall cast the weapon those three actions from each troop you're going to be able to gain as i said before over 1.2 million gold per hour that's basically if you're winning battles anywhere between 22 seconds per battle to 25 seconds per battle. You'll be way above the Diamantina team. Way above the Diamantina team. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if I'm, I'm able to pick up a quick fight. Um, as you can see here, no purple is on the board that I can match. But let's see if I can get some aligned. There we go. Let's cast Thrall. Cast this. You know, there we go. We're generating mana once again. There we go. We have the weapon. And one more cast from the weapon and we should kill. As you can see, my meter for gold is maxed out. There it is. So if you if you think that you're not going to be able to do this team, maybe because your magic level or whatever it is, you know, clearly that this team is not for you. You know, try a different gold farming team. I've put out a number of different gold farming options. Try them out. But this right here is a premium gold farming team because this new weapon here in this team setup replaces a lot of what the other team did with multiple troops it's kind of switches things around so if you put on a generator option like thrall or you know maybe you want to switch out thrall here and put on bork 3000 or you know whatever it is it will work it will work and it gets you a lot of gold a lot of gold all right let's move on to 
the Mac Gold 2 team. Now, this right here is a similar option to the previous team that I mentioned, except I'm using Egg Thief here. So I'm getting the, the boost. I'm, I shouldn't say I'm getting. I'm making use of the boost ratio of the gold right here with my Egg Thief. Because once I cast my Leprechaun, Egg Thief gets powered up. She's just going to be kicking ass the entire time. Ruby McCack is going to be doing the same thing it did before, but just an alternative option. Maybe you you know you don't have two Cedrics, or maybe you just don't have enough magic, or whatever the case might be. Here's a powerful option that will not die. As you can see, I'm using the Thief Hero class as well to make sure it's super overpowered. Um, if you want on the Thief Hero class, on this team setup, you can actually go ahead and take off the Dusk Aura and just go with you know maybe a resummon or whatever and it should work really 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 well all right so that is that team now let's move on though i'm not going to be all right let's 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 showcase the team we don't want to be showing teams and not trying them out all right so you want to go ahead and get you know whatever four plus gem matches you want to go for you get your egg thief powered up you know you look you're just generating mana a lot a lot of mana yes you see the meter for gold is already maxed out Nothing much to worry about here. Even if your Cedric dies on the top of the team, your Egg Thief is going to resummon more eggs. There it is. There it is. It's a sim. As I said, it's a similar team to the previous one, except um, the Ruby Macaque here is generating the gold that you usually need from your greed. Leprechaun makes it quicker. Um, you don't have to worry about getting mana to your Egg Thief by matching gems. You just cast Leprechaun, explode the board, and just run with it from there. And you should be fine. All right, so this is the final team. This right here is a more fast option. Uh, maybe you don't want to put Leprechaun on the team. You want to make sure you're, you're hitting the enemies only twice as opposed to hitting them three times with the other teams that I've showcased before. Um, this team has a Borg 3000 at the top of the team. Right? This is going to be here for the main mana generator, followed by the Ruby Macaque, followed by Onerous. And I keep on saying this, man. Why are you guys not making use of this troop right here? This troop is goated. This troop is straight up goated. The Verifier option here allows me to deal 50% additional damage. I'm true damaging them. So this is going to take two casts. That's it. Two casts from my Ruby Macaque, they're dead. That's it. Um, I don't think I'm going to even be having the ability of gaining max gold at times, but I'm not worried about that. This is going to be a partially gold farming team, partially quick killing export 12 team. All right, let's back out of here. Let's go up to, where are we going here? What would be a good kingdom? Well, how about, yeah, Wild Plains. Wild Plains would be a good option for this team. So I can make use of a, of a storm. All right, let's go. This is battle number one in Wild Plains. And you just want to make sure that you can gain. Um... Yeah, there we go. Look how quick. Look how quick that was. Look how quick that was. And we we got gold. Bork. Let's fair fire them, and this should kill. Yep, that's it. That's how quick that was. Of course, I didn't max out my meter for gold, but nonetheless, this is a fast ass team, and I'm gaining gold as well. My gold was about 128, um, which is cool. Which is cool. Right, let's go for it again. All right, let's see if we can get Bork powered up. No, we did not. Let's match some more. There we go. Now, fair fire these suckers. Now we're going to deal damage. There we go. Almost spell ready. There we go. Spell ready again. <laughs> oh, man, I like that. I like that. And look, my meter for gold was almost maxed out in that one. This was a super... This is a super fast team, man. This is... This weapon is actually really good. I like it when the devs do things like this. Like, keep on doing things like this, devs. Keep on keeping on, man. All right, let's match some gems. Let's manage in these suckers. True damage. There we go. Generating mana for ourselves again. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That was so good. All right, let's run down these last fights right here. And then I'm going to peace out, peeps. All right, let's see if I can get my board powered up. There we go. Fair fire, man, the drain. There we go. Got more mana back to the troops. Doesn't matter if the fair fire wears off, they're still going to die. All right, that was a, 
that was battle number four. All right, we're at the mini boss fight. Let's see how this one works out. All right, let's just match yellow. Didn't get his spell ready. Let's just match. All right, let's take this red off the board first. Follow up with this. There we go. Now this one. Generate mana. Beautiful. Almost got spell ready again. Alright, wrong, wrong, wrong cast. There we go. There we go. Much better. And look, majority of the troops ended spell ready. Let's see what we got here. Alright, we're at the mythic boss fight. We're going up against Ketris the Bull. Alright, let's see what we're going to do here. Let's get some mana. Lot of mana. Lots and lots of mana. Deal damage. Almost spell ready again. There we go. Got the kill. Got the kill. Alright guys, so those are the teams. Those are the four... Oh, okay. So we have one more fight to do. Alright, let's go into this one. We got a Mimic here. Hopefully this doesn't turn out horribly wrong for me because I've had such bad luck with these Mimics. Now, Fear Fire. Damage. Nice. I like that. I like that. Now, one more hit. There we go. Yup. <laughs> that is so good. That was so good. All right, come on, baby. Give me something good. Eh, nothing good. But yeah, guys, those were the teams. Those were the teams. Let's go back over the teams again. Um, so we started off with the Mac one team. Excuse me. So we have the, the Empress, followed by uh, String Fiddlers, followed by Leprechaun, followed by the Ruby Macaque. Then we have the Mac Gold one, which undoubtedly, I said before, this is a rival team for the what's her name for the diamantina option this is a rival team so you guys can try this out tell me if you're getting as much gold as i am um, seven thousand seven hundred and ninety seven gold is a huge amount of gold some players with higher vip levels you know are going to be getting way more than me so maybe my numbers are low maybe you know there are real numbers out there that you guys can tell me if i don't have um the Matt Gold 2 team, which is now a, a, a lesser version of the first one I just showed you. And then the Matt Gold 3 team, which is a mix between a gold farming team and a fast explore 12 team. If you guys and gals found this video informative and helpful, hit the like button. Drop a comment and let me know what you guys think. Even if you don't like the teams. Maybe you don't even like the new weapon. You know what I mean? The Ruby Macaque. Maybe you don't even like it. You think it's weak and underpowered and doesn't do much. Let me know as well. And if you know of anyone, right, that's looking for good PvP teams, good Guild Wars teams, and Explore teams, tell them to come on over and check out the channel. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.